Don't let the tech bros scare you. View shot prompting is easy as pie, and in two minutes, I'll teach you how to do it directly in ChatGPT. No experience required. Hi, my name is Katherine Getze, and I do non-pretentious, non-patronizing education about AI. People in every industry love to come up with fancy names for things that don't need to be fancy. View shot prompting literally just means giving the AI an example. Let me show you. Let's say you're looking for book recommendations for science fiction novels. That answer can come back to you in any one of a number of different ways. It totally depends. There's some randomness with these models. That's how they work. You're not gonna get the same answer every time. But let's say in this example, you needed to see the book results come back to you in a certain way. Let's say you needed to see the book title first, then the author, then a summary, and you needed plenty of space in between them to make it really easy to read. Well, if you just ask ChatGPT for book recommendations, it's gonna give you back, like I said, some kind of random format. In this example, ChatGPT happened to give it to me where I had the title in quotes by the author that's all bolded and then we get a long dash plus a short summary but if we use a few shot prompting technique and I actually show the model exactly how I would like to see it come back I give it one example and I give two by the way if I just give one example that's called one shot you're starting to pick up on the pattern here then I ask the original prompt again at the end and here's the result I actually get to see the information exactly formatted in the way that I wanted now at the end of the day this takes a lot of time. Writing out all those different examples and generating them to provide the AI so you get the result formatted in the way that you need, it's a lot of work for something like book recommendations. So where we see this method used way more is for complex tasks, where we're actually leveraging ChatGPT to get a formatted output that is very, very specific to our needs. This could be relevant if you need to copy that body of text and put it directly into a code editor or you wanna put it onto your website or have it formatted for a certain language. Or maybe you need to follow a certain format for homework or a school assignment. Or maybe it's part of your job requirements that all of your responses for emails or messages have to come back a certain way. Few shot prompting is most helpful when you need to get outputs that are looking the same way every time. So next time somebody throws few shot or zero shot or one shot prompting out into the conversation during happy hour, just know they're just talking about giving ChatGPT examples.